Big news, Luminar Neo this morning announced a major upgrade to their photo editing software. And a couple days ago, I was able to take a sneak peek and look at all of these different features and play with them. And then I'm able to show them to you today, as well as extending some deep discounts. So you wanna make sure you stick around to the end of this video to see what all of those discounts are, or you can just go to, this, to the description of this video and click the links and see for yourself. And so what are all of these different features? Well, we have a new color transfer feature. We have smart search and AI smart search, color masking and film strip now in the edit mode as well as in the preset mode. We also have some significant upgrades to the catalog. And as I mentioned earlier, some early bird pricing from today till August 25th, 2024. So this software is going to be released in about six weeks ish and so there's not an exact date but you can get in starting today on the early bird discounts to save a lot of cash so what are these different things well let's begin by looking at the color transfer ai and how that works and so if we zip over here to luminar neo you can see i can click here on color transfer ai and then i i can click on a reference image and apply the colors from that reference image to the image that I'm editing. So this cityscape, I wanna use the image colors from this reference image. It takes a little bit, but that is going to apply those colors. I can then adjust those colors to see how those are being applied. So I can adjust to taste. You can see the before and after, that works really, really well. There's another thing that I can do. I can use object color mapping AI. And so what we wanna do is, let's take two similar images here. So instead of using one of the reference photos that's built in, I will click plus and choose a similar photo. This is a dune landscape. So it's got sand and a sky and things that are very similar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use color transfer AI just to transfer the colors to that image. And so once those are applied, it looks pretty good. I can make adjustments to that if I want. That looks great. But let's use object color mapping AI what that does is it takes it to the next level. So it's going to take objects from my source image and apply those over here to my destination image. So I'm just gonna click on that. So the color from the sand is gonna be applied to the sand. The color to the sky from my source is gonna be applied to the uh, destination photo. And so it's gonna apply colors from one object to another object. And so this is going to be a much more pleasing result. It's something that's using AI to intelligently map the colors from specific objects in like-minded uh, like photos from one to the other. And you can see the before and after. That looks really, really well. I absolutely love how this works. And so you can take those that object mapping, that object color mapping AI. You can say, hey, I've got a photo of a car and a building in the sky. That's my reference photo, my destination photo. It's got some cars and a building in the sky. It'll take the colors from the cars and apply it to the cars and the buildings to the buildings to the sky to the sky. You get the idea. It's really pretty impressive how that all works. Or you can just take the color palette from one image and apply it to another. So color transfer AI is a fantastic new feature. So let's go and look at the AI smart search. So we can go into our catalog now and just type in something. So maybe we wanna look for the color red or we wanna look for dogs. We can just type that in. It's gonna search our catalog using AI and find all of those images. So let's take a look at how this look works. I can click on my catalog here. Let's go and search for mountains. So I'll just type in mountain and all my mountains my photos with mountains will show up. Uh, maybe I want to find all the lambs in my catalog, so I'll type in uh, lamb here. So once I do that, we should have uh, all of our lambs. There they are. Or maybe I need to work on a wedding dress. So some weddings, I forgot where my bride is in my catalog. So just typing in wedding dress, I get all of those images. I can find the one that I need. Or maybe um, I'm looking for birds. So I want to organize my birds. So I'm going to type in bird and then I'll get all of my bird photos. Then I can drag and drop those into an album and uh, organize those really, really easily. So the AI smart, uh, smart search is something that I absolutely love because it's a huge time saver and it's not dependent on any keywording or tagging or any kind of folder structure or anything like that, no metadata. It just goes through with AI and uh, you can just search 
using AI. It's really, really wonderful. The other thing that we have now is color masking. So in our edit tools, we've always been able to use AI masking to find skies and things like that. But now we're able to go in and find specific colors and then work on those specific colors. So let's take a look at that. We can go in here, we've got a tool, we've got our structure. And so let's mask using the color masking. So I can click here, just finding this color um, or something that's a little bit brighter. Maybe I can look at the sky. Once I have that selected, I can always adjust that. So I can adjust the color range and make a more uh, specific selection. And so color masking is available to our tools now as a masking option. And I absolutely love how that works. We also have some significant catalog updates. So in the catalog now, we finally have a film strip. So we can use in the preset and our edit um, uh, features. We can, while we're editing something, we can see a film strip with all of our images. If we're applying presets, we can see that film strip. And then we can also, in our catalog, we can sort and we can rate and we can redefine how things are organized. So take a look at this. When we go into our catalog here, first thing we're going to do is we can change how things look. So we can go in here and say we want to have a minimal view or we want to have an expanded view. We can hover over our images and see more information. We can uh, get a detailed view here. We can now rate our images using the one through five shortcut keys. We can add star ratings. We can double click on this. And now once we do that, you can see we have star ratings and that film strip in the bottom here. And so we can do that or we can right click and we can uh, rate things that way. And so we've got uh, much more um, functionality here. We can also sort things. So let's say I want to sort by camera. So I'm going to go in here and choose uh, this camera right here. And I click on that. We can see, well, I only have one image. So let me go and choose a, a different camera here. So we've got, uh, yeah, so we've got some different images here. But I can also sort, in addition to that, maybe ISO. So I'm sorting by camera and by ISO. I can always also now go and change how my folders are organized so I can uh, choose these different settings here and it's a real time saver. I can even just drag and drop and do my own custom old uh, order in my folders, which is really cool. We also now have virtual copies. So I can go and create a virtual copy. When I do that, I know it's a virtual copy because now I have a little icon that shows me this is a second uh, copy of this. So our virtual copies allow us to make different um, uh, different versions of our images and it saves a ton of space on our hard drive. So we have our new star ratings, we have virtual copies, we have a new gallery view, we have folders and album sorting, and then we have a new filtering feature. So that is a big, big improvement in our new uh, catalog. We also have a film strip in our presets and edits. And so that's a huge time saver for all of that uh, work that we're doing. So those are the new updates that are coming out. And uh, Luminar Neo sent me some information. And so we have some significant savings for you. So if you are a new customer, new customers now will get a, you can get a 12 month subscription for $79 instead of $99. It's a big, pretty big savings. Or if you just want to pay once and then own the software for life, you can buy that for $139 instead of $299. That is a significant savings as well. So if you're a brand new customer, you can either scan this code right here or you can check the link in the description. If you are a lifetime owner, so if you have a lifetime license you've purchased once, well, you can also get these features because you're a lifetime owner. Let me walk you through what you're going to get. So the, the free features, the ones that are available for, for all users. So if you're a lifetime owner, you get the film strip in edit mode. If you're a subscriber, you get that as well. If you're a subscriber or a lifetime owner, you are going to get the catalog improvements. So those two things. If you're a subscriber, you will also get color transfer and smart search and color masking. If you're a lifetime owner, you will need to purchase a pass for those new features, for the color transfer or the smart search or the color masking. And so those features for lifetime owners, the pricing, it depends on when you got your license and what package you chose. So it's not as straightforward like the new uh, customers, but there are packages for both. So either use the QR codes that are on the screen or click the link in the description of this video 
and you can go and see what all of that pricing is. And then the other thing is if you use this, this, yes, this right here, you can get an extra 10% off. So use the discount code Mark Wallace 10 to get an extra 10% off the savings that you already get from using these links. And so remember, this is good till August 25th. So you don't want to miss out on that. So that is all, those are all the new features, all the new pricing. It's really, really wonderful. If you're new to new Luminar Neo and you want to know more about that, well, check out this video. So I'm walking through all of the different features and uh, all the different things you can do with the AI and what the different uh, tabs and things do. So if you're new to Luminar Neo, you want to more, know more about it, take a look at this video and it will show you everything you need to know.